What is up, guys? Jay here. I'm back again with another episode of, uh, I guess, stuff. So we got some gameplay in the background, but I'm not talking about the gameplay today. What I'm talking about is the top five things I don't want to see in Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. Here we go. Let's get started. Let's do it. All right, number one on my list. Uh, by the way, this is in no order in particular like nothing is more important than the other one except i will let you know which one is the most important uh number one horrible net coding now i already have an issue with this in naruto storm revolution i didn't have so much of an issue with it in storm three um a little bit in generations um a lot of the net coding is really i don't know if it's net coding or whatever it is but a lot of the times you'll get lag even though you have perfect internet like they need to work on some type of uh some type of system to kind of balance out if you have crappy internet or not, you know, like it, I, I feel like it should drop more games than it does like sitting there transmitting every four seconds. That, that's just crappy. That's just terrible details to me. So I, I really don't like that. Um, the next one, number two, uh, horrible, horrible character balancing. Now, as we know, as everybody who's really following Storm 4 knows, Every character in Naruto should be in this game, first of all. So we're expecting 150, maybe 160 playable roster, you know? I, I don't really I don't really know. Like Revolution barely reached over a hundred. And I was like, okay, that's that's fine. I think it's like 10 108. 10 I don't know. I don't know how many characters are in this goddamn game. But however many there are. It, all of them need to be balanced like everybody's damage output needs to be the same including 1010 like don't don't do this bullshit to 1010 again like buff her ass come on now don't don't do that shit and, and nerf sasuke please uh, just just make sure the first thing you do is nerf characters before you do any balancing like like don't buff any characters once the game comes out and you're like oh these characters are uneven don't buff anybody at first you need to uh you need to nerf people that's what it is you need to normalize the damage for everything. Everybody should have the same damage output, no matter what the character is or, you know, what their specialty is. Like, Lee's Taijutsu, I understand, should be, you know, like if he uses his Taijutsu ninjutsu or whatever. Like, you know, when you press triangle, circle, or Y, B, or whatever the hell you're playing on. Um, and you do the leaf spinning kick, that should do the exact same amount of damage as Naruto's Rasengan. Now, if it's a chargeable move, then yeah, it should do more damage. So, you know what? Just get that get that together and, you know, we'll be great. Number three on my list. I don't want to see any support characters whatsoever in this game. It makes absolutely no sense to have characters that are in, there, in this game that are absolutely only support. That's just the dumbest thing, in my opinion, because those are characters that we could utilize to play as. And you know what? Come to think of it. In Storm Revolution, we have six additional slots. I, I believe it's six. Yeah, six additional slots that are on the fourth page where the PTS characters are. Um, those could be Hidden Miss Ninja, just saying. And not only that, it's not like you guys don't have the character models. Like, I expected, after I beat Revolution and unlocked all the characters, I expected to be able to purchase those six characters or unlock them later, and they were going to be the, you know, the Miss Ninja but they were going to be support only because the models were in Storm 3. So I figured they should be in Revolution, right? Right? Wrong. Wrong. That's what's got me a little skeptical about this. Moving on to the next one. Number four. Chocho. -cho. I do not want to see Chocho's -cho ratchet ass in this game. I swear. I know she's not going to be in this game, you know, because that's uh, Naruto Gaiden. And uh, the Scarlet Letter or whatever. But you know what? It's just... I am i don't want to see this bitch in the game. Like, watch, the, watch them give one DLC character and it's Chocho. -cho, just for me. Because they're just trolling my ass. So, please, everybody just vote no Chocho. -cho. They're already putting useless characters in this game. We already got Rin and Hanabi. But we don't have Hazashi for some reason. I don't know. And now we got four different versions of Obito. Ah, uh, fucking amazing. Let's do it. And last one, um, but certainly not least, I think the Chocho -cho one is probably the most important. Please don't put that bitch in the game. Um, is unnecessary DLC. This is probably one of the closer to the top. Like, unnecessary DLC. And what I mean by that is literally tons and tons and tons of costumes that are over $2 a piece. Because it's just cosmetic DLC. Like, 
nobody really wants to pay over two dollars for that shit now i can understand if you put out you know large packs of like previous dlc for like five dollars you know every storm revolution dlc one for five dollars every full burst naruto storm 3 and generations dlc six seven dollars that's it i shouldn't pay over seven dollars for any dlc that's just cosmetic that's just, it's just stupid that's ridiculously stupid it needs to have at least like if i am gonna pay for that like a 9.99 pack or something it needs to include a costume for every motherfucking character that's ten dollars right there god damn it like if you really think about it a game that you're paying 60 65 dollars for you know 54 if you got it like that um ten dollars is a is a pretty big percentage of sixty dollars just saying like if you really think about it like had you bought six dlc packs you just spent sixty dollars by then you should at least have a costume for every single character right so you know i'm, I'm just saying you know uh a fraction of that should at least be stages you know some actual you know unlockable stuff in the game you know i want to see like uh ninja info cards that you can't get um included in every single pack so you get the costumes you should get ninja info stuff you should also get um some character specific cosmetics and things like that or you know some stuff you can use in story mode or uh, online badges things like that like you should get some some you know some actual stuff that's worth money um and don't please don't do the dead or alive thing where you put out individual costumes for characters for like 99 cents and shit like don't don't do that bullshit we don't want to see that i want to see some story dlc i would gladly pay 9.99 for some you know lengthy story dlc that's what i want to see so the only time you should be putting out dlc is post game and after the game is doing well wait a little bit and then just put a bunch of shit in there like an unnecessary amount of stuff just put it in there be generous with your dlc god damn it we're, we're we're gamers we're tired of getting raped by every single developer out there and publisher out there who's just like yeah you know what let's cut stuff out of the game and then just charge hella money for it like we're we're tired of that be different cc2 let's let's get it come on this is this is the year to change god damn it Anyway, guys, that is my list of the top five things I don't want to see in Naruto Storm 4. Give this video a like so that way I know you guys enjoyed it. And the hype, the level of hype right now, I need you guys to hit that like button. Be extra violent. I need you to violate that like button, goddammit. Anyway, and also uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel and you want to see some more stuff. And you want me to flood your inbox with all sorts of goodies and things like that. Extra videos. Who knows what could happen? Anyway, guys, this has been Jay, and I'll catch you guys next time. Make sure to keep it canon.